Today we are going to be creating this optical illusion. It's called an optical illusion because it's really a flat piece of paper, but it almost feels like you're falling into this crazy tunnel. Let me show you what supplies we're going to be using today. I'm going to be using a ruler, but if you don't have one, you might find an envelope or a piece of mail lying around that you could use for straight edge. I have a pencil sharpener on hand in case I need it, a regular pencil, and then I have a few color pencils. I made sure to grab the black color pencil for my shading, but other than that, it's up to you to choose the colors. I'm gonna put these aside for now. Um, I'm also using a piece of white paper to create my art on. You might find art paper or copy paper, printer paper, doesn't matter. Um, any will work, even you might find something really cool like scrapbook paper. The first thing that I need to do is divide my paper into pizza slices or triangles. Here's how I like to do that. I start by making an X using my ruler. And I'm left-handed, so you might flip this if you're right-handed. And I try to line them up just next to the corners. And then I hold down and drag my line across. It doesn't have to be perfect, but we do want the middle to be as nice as possible. Then I'll do that again on the other side. Take as much time as you need. I think that sometimes we make mistakes when we rush, but you can try this over and over again. You can always go slow. And always remember that mistakes are okay. Now I need a line that's going um, vertical and horizontal. So here's my trick for that. Instead of starting with my ruler, I start with my pencil and I place it where I want the line to go. And then slide my ruler up and down. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing, just rotating my paper. And this helps me get nice crispy lines pretty much where I want them. Sometimes when I don't do this, I end up with like an extra triangle in the middle. To create our optical illusion, we're gonna use some curvy lines, kind of like a spider web. So I'm starting by making these smiley type curved lines. It does get a bit tricky when you get towards the edge of the paper. So just do your best. Now on the next slice, I'm gonna do the opposite, but I'm gonna make sure that it connects. So I like to call these rainbow lines just to remind myself of the way that the arch is curving, but you can also call them frowny lines if you wanted. Continuing on with our pattern, I'm gonna to go to the next one and make it smileys again, or those downward sloping curved lines. I think I'm gonna add one more up here. I like to turn my paper because it makes it easier to reach. But you can approach this project however you would like, whatever works best for you. Already I'm getting like a really wiggly pattern in my artwork and I'm already getting a sense of that optical illusion. So let me finish this up. Now to make this even cooler, I'm going to use sort of a checkerboard pattern where it goes dark, light, dark, white. And I'm also gonna alternate colors so that I have blue, black, blue, black. But when I'm starting out, I'm just going to focus on one slice um, and using one color and using that checkerboard pattern. So I'm gonna start using a light pressure. It almost helps if your pencil isn't that sharpened, but it's this nice, gentle, feathery touch, almost lifting off the paper in the middle. You can always make 
darker shades, but it's difficult if you make it too dark to get it back to where you want it. So I'm kind of following the curved pattern gently, and now I can go in along the edges and put down more value or more color. Sometimes I also go the opposite direction, which is called cross hatching, just to make it a little bit more blended. Now I'm focusing on the edges and blending it out so that this can be my darker valued piece of the puzzle, whatever you'd like to call it. I can always change my mind and make this the lighter one too. But I'm gonna try to preserve or keep that highlight in the middle um, as blank as possible while focusing on blending out the edges. Sometimes when I'm doing a project like this, I like to turn the TV on um, and just relax and you know let my brain kind of go with the flow. So if you'd like to watch this video and then when it's finished, um, try the project out, go for it. Of course, you can always pause the video whenever you would like. All right, now that I have my first area done, I'm gonna repeat almost the exact same thing but with an even gentler kind of pressure, really like I am pulling the paper. I want this to have the illusion of being white, so I'm not really thinking about coloring it blue, I'm thinking about making just a little bit of color appear to be the shadow, but following that general pattern. Same with this one, I'm giving it just the lightest, tiniest amount of pressure, smoothing it out as best as I can so that it gives the appearance or illusion of being um, white with shadows. I'm gonna keep doing this on all of these pieces, um, every, every other one, so all the ones with my smileys. Um, but I'm gonna fast forward the video and check in with you after I finish, and then we'll move on to the other color. Now that I've done my first color, I can go in and clean up any areas that I think might need a little bit more, and then I can switch to my second color. I've chosen black, but, but of course, pick whatever you would like. I'm going to follow the same technique, but opposite. So whereas this is my dark value, this would be my light value. 
And whereas this is my light blue value, this will be my darker value. I'm all done with my optical illusion drawing and I'm feeling pretty satisfied. It did take me a long time, so it's worth the effort. I can't wait to see what everyone makes um, and I hope that you had a lot of fun. Thanks for checking out this video.